Hello my wonderful children. Very good morning to all. Today we will learn chapter 2 mathematics shapes around us and kindly subscribe my channel students to get the additional notification for the upcoming lessons. So kindly subscribe and press the bell icon. So the lesson name is shapes around us. So in this lesson, we are going to learn about shapes. So what and all shapes that we can able to see in our daily life. For example, on this picture, we have different types of musical instruments. So on this lesson, we are going to learn the shapes using these instruments. So let's go into the lesson. So children, let me introduce a few shapes and its 3D shapes. So it will be easy for your understanding. First we have circle and its 3D shape is spear. Second we have the shape of square and its 3D shape called cube. Square cube. And next we have triangle and the triangle 3D shape is cone. Triangle cone. The next is rectangle and its 3D shape is cuboid. Rectangle cuboid. And we have cylinder shape. So let's go into the lesson. So we'll find the musical instruments on this picture now. We have the first one conga, tabella, trumpet, dolak, Flute, harmonium, rattles, and chennai, and also we have a pot and a music box. So these are the musical instruments listed on this image. So let's go into the question and answer based on this picture and the instrument shapes. Look at the picture and observe different musical instruments. Circle the musical instruments that are similar in shape to a drum. So let's look at the picture and find the musical instruments which is similar to a drum. So we have tabla, conga. So these instruments are similar to a drum. Take the musical instruments that are similar to a shape of matka. So let's look into the musical instruments. This is in a spear shape. So let's find a, this pot. Pot is a spear shape. So this is the shape of the matka. Both are in similar shape. Third one, take the shape similar to the shape of a shinai. So we have a spear, a cuboid and a cone shape. Let's check the shinai. Just check the end of the shinai. It's looking like a cone shape. So the similar shape is cone. Last one. How is the shape of harmonium different from the shape of drum? So look at this picture of harmonium and drum. Harmonium it is in a rectangular shape. But check the drum. Drum is in a cylinder shape. So both are having different shapes. Have you seen or played any of the musical instruments share your experience with your classmates so they are, they are asking whether you have played any of the musical instruments which was listed on that image or have you seen played those instruments on the stage so they are asking to share your experience with your classmates so the next one is cross the odd one out so we have some pictures of eatables and some images so they are asking to compare with the shapes and the odd one out okay on the first row we have a carrot and an ice cream cone orange and another ice cream so on these images uh, the common is the shape of the cone so carrot is a cone shape again yellow ice cream is also cone shape but when you look at the orange, orange is in a circle shape which is the 3D image of a spear. 
so that is the odd one out on the second row we have sun house moon and globe so we have sun with a circle and house with a rectangular shape again moon with a circle and globe with a sphere shape so sun moon and the globe all are in sphere shape but the house which is in rectangular shape so that is the odd one out on the last row we have a paper roll a wooden box and a soap and book so when we see the wooden box the soap and the book all are in rectangular shape at the bottom and it's in a cuboid shape but the paper roll it is in a cylinder shape so paper roll is the odd one out match the musical instruments and objects with their solid shapes so one has been done for you so let's match their solid shapes for their correct music instruments we have the shapes of cylinder cone cuboid sphere and a cube let's match with the musical instruments so the first one we have it for cylinder so let's match the musical instruments which is in the shape of cylinder so we have drum harmonium bell music box and a pot and shinai so we all know drum is in a cylinder shape and on the right hand side we have pencil cube cone sphere and a music box so pencil is also in a cylinder shape next we have cone and let's see the musical instruments we have bell and there is an ice cream cone so both are similar so next we have cuboid shape so cuboid we have harmonium and there is a music box a music wooden box which is in cuboid shape and we have the fourth one is in a spear shape so it is very easy we have pot and there is another spear ball so both are so these two the pot and the ball are in spear shape the last one is for cube shape so there is another music box which is in cube shape and we have a dice so dice is also in cube shape so now we have completed the match the following using the musical instruments which is matching with the solid shapes so henna and atif look at this picture there are two children they are gifting a box so let's read the conversation so atif i want to decorate this gift box for my friend's birthday so there is a cuboid box which is in rectangular shape so they want to decorate this box for his friend's birthday so henna i have got ribbons stars and pom poms balls let us decorate these so they are having stars and there is a scissor on a table a gum pom pom balls so they are telling we will place one star for each face of the boxes so we already know a box has six faces so they are going to place each star on each face so now hatif happily said wow it looks nice let me count how many stars we need it has six faces so we need six stars yes a cuboid has six faces so we need six stars for each side so now a cuboid has six faces and 12 edges or sides so for faces we have already completed with six six stars and she said it looks really nice let me put ribbons on its sides so we have 12 sides so what they are doing they are going to put ribbon for all these sides so the conversation again begins 
yes then we need 12 ribbons for each side or edges some will be short and some will be long yes for the length we need the longer ribbon and for the breadth we need the shorter ribbon so they both used six stars for the face and 12 ribbons for the edges now they are going to arrange the pom pom balls so he must telling how can we put these balls on the corner so how many corners we have we have eight corners so these colorful balls are looking good on all the eight corners so we have six faces 12 edges and eight corners for a cuboid box so children look at the image of this cuboid now so i have marked the six faces eight vertex and 12 edges next one is if you also have to decorate the following shapes in same way with stars ribbon strips and pom-pom balls how many of these items you will need first we have for a cube number of stars for the faces so cube we have six faces so one two three visible faces and that is a bottom face and there are two side faces so which is not visible so we have six faces and we have 12 wedges the top one and the front side and the visible side and we have two back sides and the bottom one so totally we have 12 edges so we need 12 ribbon strips and corners we have eight corners one two three four on the top and five six seven eight at the bottom so totally eight corners so the next one is the cone shape so the top of the cone is in a circle shape so for a circle there is only one face and the number of strips or the edges for the cone is only one edge there is no multiple edge because it's a circle shape so only one edge and the corner the cone is having only one corner so the last one is the cuboid box shape we already saw the children packed a gift box right that box is also in cuboid shape so we already know the number of faces is six and number of edges 12 and the corners is eight so we have uh, some object and its 3d name is listed we need to find the faces, edges and corners. The first one is the cube. So we already found we have uh, 6 faces for cubes and 12 edges and 8 corners. And same found for cuboid also. The difference between the cube and cuboid is the measurement. For the cube we have all the sides equal. And for cuboid we have different length and breadth next find for the cone so for cone we have two faces the middle face and the top face and the edges the top edge it's in round shape we only have one edge and the corner the bottom we have only one corner so we have two faces one edge and one corner okay next we will check the faces and edges for the cylinder so for cylinder we have three faces the top face the middle face and the bottom face and edges we have two edges the top edge and the bottom edge and the corners for cylinder there is no corners it is in round shape top and bottom and there is no corner zero corner So the next one we have spear shape spear means it's it's a ball shape and it has only one face and there is no edge or there is no corner for a ball so only one face 
zero corner and zero edges so now we have cuboid cone and cylinder we already know the value for faces edges and corners so we can put the same values and student this question is very important question and it will come for your examination so do not memorize it take a shape and you mark the edges and faces and count it accordingly always do not memorize it practice and find the answer now let's play it's an activity given to the class children so what they are going to do is they have they are going to give you any object the teacher is going to give you any object for example if a ball is given you have to blindfold your eyes touch the ball and find out how many faces or how many corners or how many edges are there in a ball so this is an activity you have to blindfold and find the answer so let's do it now now we have three objects a ball a samosa and a carrot so let's match two number of corners so no corners so which of these has no corners zero corners ball a sphere shape next one we have a samosa and it is in triangular shape which has three corners and the last one is carrot which is in cone shape we already know cone has only one corner the last one is dash corner so we can fill up with uh, four corners so which of the object will have four corners um a white board or a black board which has four corners students now we have completed the lesson and time to practice i have attached the worksheet on the description so kindly download the worksheet and start practicing if you have any questions send me an email so that i'll reply as soon as possible and it's my kind request for subscription please subscribe my channel so that you will get upcoming lessons as a notification press the like button subscribe and the bell symbol and thank you for watching students practice make perfect so kindly practice many times